I've been working on some bowls today and I'm kind of at a stopping point. When I was going through some stuff, I came across this stick that I plan on using as a walking cane. And unfortunately, it has a split in it. It must have dried too quickly. So, what I thought I'd do is show you how I go about fixing that. Also show you how I tint my epoxy to get kind of a cool look in these sticks. So of course you'll need some kind of stick. This could work on a bowl as well or um, other types of projects. I'm going to use some Loctite 5 minute epoxy and I use the 5 minute epoxy especially on these sticks because it'll cure faster and I can work with it and just keep moving the stick around and it'll fill that gap pretty well. I'm also going to use some acrylic paint to color it. I'm going to make up a small amount, maybe a third of this container's full, and then I'm just going to add a couple drops of this glitter paint and a drop or two of this turquoise. I'll need some rubber gloves, of course, a stick to stir the epoxy, and some tape to cover the ends here. Need a little bit of tape on the end of the stick here so it doesn't fall off the end. I like to mix up my epoxy before I add the dye. I feel it, uh, the chemical reaction will occur better if I can get that mixed first. Okay, now I've shaken up this acrylic paint really well. And then I want, I think, just two drops of this stuff in here and one drop of the turquoise. Let's see what that looks like. And of course I want to mix this up really well. I think that's a pretty good color. Alright, now comes the fun part. The crack runs from the end to about here. So I don't have a huge area to apply this, but there is one on this side and a smaller one on the other side. What I like to do is wait a minute or two until this epoxy starts getting a little warm to the touch. And I know it's starting to set up. There's not much pot life then. And it actually thickens then. And then what I'll, all I do is I pour it into my crack. I'm going to use my hands to get it into that crack. And I'm just going to keep moving this stick around so that it doesn't dribble as much. Of course it does right away when I put it on. Okay. In the small cracks you can just take the epoxy with your fingers and just plug it in there and it tends to stay in those small cracks pretty well. Alright, now I've got one on this other side I want to get to. The epoxy is starting to get warm. It's not hot yet. When it's hot it gets really thick and you can hardly pour it at that point. So you've got to work quickly with this. I'm feeling I could have put a little bit more blue in this. Uh, it's not showing up as dark as I would have liked, but I think it's still going to work. Now it's getting hot. And bugs are biting me, which is unpleasant as well.
Now, this will focus on here. Let's see if it'll focus here. There we go. Just turn it and see how it fills that crack. And if I just keep turning it, it doesn't have a chance to run out. It's thick enough where it's not going to just run all over the place. And it's okay that I got epoxy all over the stick because we're going to sand that off later. It's been a couple hours since I put the epoxy in. So it's probably not fully cured yet, but it is definitely set. So the next thing I'll do is I will just sand off the excess on here and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so this is what it looks like when uh, I get done sanding. If the sander, of course, touches it, and that was, uh, I believe that was 80 grit sandpaper, um, it's gonna rough it up. You can get a nice sheen if you continue sanding up to like, say, I don't know, 800 or so. I'm just gonna put some mineral oil on, because that actually will take out the dust, and you can kind of see what it's gonna look like. So that's what it looks like right now. And like I said, I would normally sand that to a higher grit so that it's even shinier, but it looks pretty good just as it is. So just a quick video, show you how I go about doing that. It's a nice cane here. I can carve a topper for that. It can be a nice little cane for somebody with uh, an epoxy inlay in there. Thanks for watching. I appreciate the support.